Hi for Castillo, QA Community Lead at the Buenos Aires Studio. Um, today we are going to talk about web accessibility testing and I'll give you some tips that can help you if it's the first time that you are going to test a web application with this approach. So let's talk a bit about some theoretical basis. What is web accessibility? The W3C, whose acronym stands for the World Wide Web Consortium, is an international community that works on developing standards to guarantee the growth of the web worldwide. They define web accessibility, providing the opportunity to people with some type of permanent disability, such as blindness, stiffness, cognitive or motor disability, or even temporary, to access the content of a website in a way that they can perceive, understand, navigate, and interact with the web, providing content in turn. But web accessibility benefits all of us who use the web, and it is flexibility allows for the satisfaction of different needs and preferences. For example, consider for instance situations of low connectivity, elderly people, color blindness, or also people suffering from a temporary disability such as a broken arm, inflammation of our eyes or ears. All of those are also included in the great world of web accessibility. Why is it important? We must consider accessibility in web applications as a fundamental factor in our life to the significant number of disabled people worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, there are more than 1 billion people around the world living with some form of disability, and this represents about 15% of the world population. Of these, almost 200 billion experience considerable difficulties in their day-to-day -day functioning. In addition, we must be aware of the fact that the population is aging and that some of us may find ourselves in a situation of disability at some point in our lives. So, what is the purpose of accessibility testing? Accessibility testing is a subset within the usability tests that are carried out when developing software. Its purpose is to ensure that the greatest number of users, particularly those with permanent disabilities, can use mobile applications and websites on computers or smart devices in an easy way and without requiring any extraordinary effort. So how can we check if a web application is accessible? There are international and country-specific regulations that define it and are recognized as Web Content Accessibility Guidelines, WACG, which are based on four main principles. First one, perceptible information that specify text alternatives for content that is not easy to read and hear. Number two, operable user interface that defines that the website must be fully navigable and interactive via the keyboard. Number three, understandable information, which means that the language must be very clear. And number four, robust content and reliable interpretation it must be compatible with older, newer, and more accessible technologies. From these four major principles, guidelines from each category emerge that are possible to measure according to three levels. A, double A, and triple A. Triple A is being the maximum level, meaning that if a website has a label of accessibility, it covers a greater number of users than one with a level A. How can we check that the WCAG accessibility guidelines are being followed? In practice, automatic and manual testing is used to verify that the defined criteria are met. For automated testing, there are specialized testing tools. Some are more specific than others and developed to evaluate and detect errors associated with accessibility in web applications, such as code syntax error, contrast error, navigation errors, etc. Uh, which are some of the free tools available for automated testing that we can use? We have 
Way and Cloudy that both are for web accessibility. We have PID that it's for a specific detection of epileptic agents. Color contrast checker, but that is for contrast. And we have X and Lighthouse that both are browser extensions for web accessibility. After testing with tools, what is the next step? Considering that all these tools do not always evaluate all the WCAG criteria and guidelines, for the purpose of double checking, manual test scenarios are run for different types of disability simulated user interaction. At this stage, it is important that as a QA, we adopt a user position. So let's be empathetic, let's think like a user to figure out how to make the interaction with the application as easy and pleasant for them as possible. Now we are in resolution state. The goal is always to create a better experience for all users, sometimes by making small changes, but most importantly, having the whole team committed to this goal. It's important to know the audience that the application is aiming at us. This will help prioritize the solving of reported bugs and even anticipate new ones that may arise. Now we saw all the bugs detected. Now what? Carrying out a UAP stage with real users will be the best thing to do. It will allow us not only to detect new test cases and bugs that have been overloaded, but also to develop a little more empathy when conducting our tests. Finally, let's remember that making an application accessible is a team effort. As I seen accessibility earlier and throughout developing allows for accessibility problems to be found early on when they are easier to solve. Thank you for getting to the end of this video. I hope you find it interesting and this video motivates you to start accessibility testing. Thank you. Bye.